y'all so i'm back i just discovered that my battery is pretty much dead um and i just changed batteries well one of the batteries was dead and then i just switched batteries and put another one in and this one is not charged all the way so i'm gonna try to charge up but i'm actually let me go back because you can't even see me honey so i'm about to get ready it is so cold in here it's actually kind of cool outside today you guys know i'm always saying like it's not it's not hot here it doesn't it's not hot here it's not cold here whatever but today is actually kind of cool i think i said it was hot i meant to say it's kind of cool outside today do my hair and i'm about to get dressed because today is monday today's monday right oh my god yes today is monday excuse the room it's a mess but today is monday and actually thanksgiving is this week so i wanted to start my vlogs off right um i do want to vlog for thanksgiving and also today i need to do some running around to go and pick up a few things to prepare for thanksgiving i'm not cooking for holidays like thanksgiving and christmas i am the girl who brings the sodas honey because she don't got time to be slaving in the kitchen like once I'm older and it's like me and Ariel, which is my cousin, and you know, like the younger generation, of course, I will have to start cooking then. And maybe, you know, sometimes I bring stuff, but usually I bring the sodas and I may bring like a dessert or something. But my aunt was saying about a dessert and I was just planning on bringing sodas alone. So whenever she said that, I was kind of thinking like, what else can I bring that would be good? And then last night i believe it was i just came across like some gummy bears and you know how people do the alcohol soaked gummy bears i was like yo i should totally do that because my mom usually makes like jello shots and stuff so i figured that it would be fun to get my family drunk <laughs> and i've never actually tried the um the gummy bear jelly beans, gummy bear jelly beans, the gummy bear alcohol, you know, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say, but I've never tried it before. So I do want to test it out. I'm just trying to get this lace together, honey. I'm so sick of lace. Like it's so much work, but I'm able to do a lot more videos and stuff and I can change my hair up as much as I want, which I do actually really like that. But honey, it's just a lot of work. So actually this week I'm going to go get my hair done too, because well, I was thinking I would let my cousin do it, um, but I'll probably go to my bestie because I'm probably going to get a quick weave because there's a style that I have in mind and I'm only going to keep it for maybe a week or so anyway. So yeah, I just did my hair. Came out really cute actually. But yeah, I'm just going to wear this wig today and I need to get dressed. It is cold outside, so I was trying to think what can I put on. Sorry, I'm not in frame, but I was trying to think what can I put on and um i think i should probably put on like something with a jacket of course or like some jeans and i was really cold yesterday actually yesterday we went to go and put up my mom's tree i was gonna bring my camera to vlog but my memory card had been in my computer because there are some vlogs that are older that i still needed to edit that's like the horrible thing about me vlogging like sometimes i can get into it and i'll be vlogging and stuff but then when it's time to edit honey i do not i'm not here for the editing so yeah, we went to put up my mom's tree, me and uncle, her tree. We went to put up her lights on the house. We didn't put up the tree. But um, actually, Uncle Warren and my mom do have to come over to help me put up my tree. Last year, I put up my tree alone. And I think like the year before that, I tried to vlog it. And I don't know what the hell happened to the footage. So I was never able to get a video up about that. But this year, honey, we are definitely doing it. I'm gonna spray this a little bit to get rid of those little frizzies at the top but yeah we're gonna do it this year so I'm gonna um definitely vlog whenever they come over and I do have a fresh big bottle of Ciroc you guys know I love my pineapple Ciroc if you follow my snapchat usually if I'm drinking that's like my drink of choice but um I love Patron too but, Okay, so when I haven't vlogged for a while, you guys know I'm like going crazy with all this talking. But basically what I need to do today is I need to go to the store to pick up my stuff. So like I was saying, I bring sodas. So I need to go pick up my sodas. I'll probably go to Sam's to get them. And I'm thinking since I want to do the gummy bear thing, Sam should have like a really big bag of them. Instead of going to like the grocery store and picking up several bags. Because the big bag is not even a lot. But I think they do have a really big bag at the grocery store. 
but we're just gonna see. I'm gonna go to Sam's and see, and then I will pick up some sodas. I need to pick up some more sodas for my house as well, and maybe like some juice. I really like to drink um, like this, like fruit punch in a can, or like pink lemonade in a can. I have apple juice and stuff, so I don't really need to pick up much from the store, but I do need to get my sodas for Thanksgiving, and I figured I should make myself go today because the last few times I went at the last minute to go and get my sodas, they didn't have anything at the damn store, and I don't have time to be going on a hunt for sodas. So I want to go to Sam's and get them, and I need to pick up one for my house as well, and I will try to get the gummy bears from there and then also go to the liquor store to pick up the alcohol to put in them i'm not sure if you should use more expensive alcohol or if the cheap ones work fine because i kind of feel like it's gummy bears so something cheap like taco vodka should be good and maybe do like some type of sweetener in it to make it taste better but i don't know i guess i'll just see when i get to the liquor store what i want to pick up but i know i'm not using my ciroc for it because honey i ain't spending all my money on them i just want to get them a little lick it up and i'm sure we're gonna have drinks too and I might bring my bottle or put me some of my um Ciroc in a flask so I can have my own drink. But yeah, so I need to go to do that. And I want to go to the party store to pick up a dish to bring my gummy bears in. And I want to pick up like some little tongues for them to pick it up with because I don't want nobody digging their damn hands in the bowl. And I want to get like some of those little cups or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe like some little shot glasses like the plastic throwaway ones. Um, and people can put their gummy bears in there and walk around with it and eat them like that. Hopefully they come out good because I never did this before. But if you dogs can notice, I do love doing like family time stuff. So this is exciting for me and I want to do something fun this year. So I'm going to do that. And also this nail has been giving me hell. Actually, a few of my nails have broke. I don't think I vlogged it. But this nail had split across and that hurts like a bitch. And I had hit it. While I was cleaning up, I actually kind of need to feel a little bit, but I, I'm um, scheduled for next week. So I'm not tripping. Like, I need to feel a little bit, but not that much. Like, some nails are more down than others. But I don't know if you guys can see here. They look pretty fine, but, like, my thumbnail has grown out a little bit more. But I ain't going to feel this week. This going to be my Thanksgiving nails, even though I got them done a few weeks ago. Because now I've been going every three weeks. But this nail, I broke. Um because i'm crazy and my real nail is coming off so i don't know if you dolls can see but it is moving because it's coming up again i had got her to fix it first time she glued it down second time i went back she put a nail on but she kind of glued the fake nail to my real nail that was lifted like not the part that's growing from my skin or from my nails or whatever so it's coming up again and honey, I can't be walking around missing a nail. I don't have much of a nail there, but I feel like if she puts the fake nail all the way to the top, that will work out much better. And then my real nail can grow underneath it without me hitting it and it being exposed because it hurts like hell. But I can't get this nail off because it's stuck. Really, if she just clips it a little bit, she can just take this off. But I took the bandaid off because I needed to let my finger breathe because oh my god when i took the band-aid off sorry i have a little booger but whenever i took the band-aid off today my finger was funky like it was stinking because i guess i took a shower and stuff and the water got under there and then i just kept that band-aid on i didn't change it because i felt like it was still sticky enough that it was holding a nail down that it didn't hurt when i hit it ew it was so funky so i took that off i'm talking so much right now but you dolls know I need to find out what i want to wear today i think i want to put on some jeans with um with like a shirt and some sneakers or something uh i don't know with a cute jacket i really really need to go and get me a black pair of uh harachis because i feel like i have so many ideas and stuff that i need to just have like an all black all black pair of sneakers for oh wait Hey doll, so I didn't have time to like do an outfit or anything because I'm literally rushing because like I was telling y'all So yeah, like I was telling y'all I didn't know what time I was gonna go and get my nails done and she literally I called her around 3 and she was like she still doesn't know because she tried to get somebody to come in early so I can come But she's not sure yet Hello? 
Yeah, I said, okay, I'm on my way. All right, bye. See? That's what I'm talking about. But she, I called her at like 3 o'clock, and she was like, she doesn't know because uh, she trying to get somebody to come in early. I think my eyelash is too long for these glasses, so I don't have them right or something. Okay, now it's fixed. But anyway, she was like, she don't know because she trying to like see if they can come early or whatever, right? So I'm like, okay, cool. Um, just let me know what time or whatever. So I'm thinking like, okay, I'm going to just get dressed and I'm going to just go start running my errands. But then it was literally like 3.30 and I got a text message, but I was still getting ready. So then whenever I went and looked at my phone, it was her and she said, come at 3.50. And she had already said earlier, like, I'm going to let you know ahead of time. Like, I'm going to call you to let you know ahead of time. 20 minutes is not ahead of time. Like... I don't know, but that was a whole mess, but I had to hurry up and get ready. So I got on a um I got on a bodysuit that buttons down the front. It's just kind of like a regular t-shirt, but it kind of goes off the shoulder. And then I put it on with some jeans that have rips at the knees. I didn't want anything that was too ripped up because it is a little chilly today. Actually, it's like 59. It's not that cold, but I know I was cold yesterday, so I wanted to be sure to put a jacket on. So I put on this jacket and it has like little patches on it and they're pink and stuff. But really initially I was thinking about just wearing this shirt and I wanted to do my pink glasses. But then I was like, yo, I could put this jacket and it'll still be cute and I could still wear my pink glasses. So that's what I did. And I just put on my white Hirachi. So really simple and to kind of go with the jacket because it does have like gold detailing and like gold zippers it has some spikes on it too it's a really cute jacket this jacket is from yoins um i'll try to put a link down below in this video if you guys are interested but i just put on my cooch necklace it was dirty so i had to clean it um i didn't put on any hoops because i'm wearing my hair kind of over my ears anyway since i have a center part so it doesn't really matter and i just threw on some rings really quick like what was laying out on the counter but um, this looks a fucking mess. I did put another band-aid on because I didn't want to, um, I was trying to get dressed and it hurts like hell, like to try to put jeans on and stuff when you're hitting it. But yeah, so anyways, back to her, like telling me at the last minute, then she just called me and was like, did you get my message? Like, girl, you telling me 20 minutes ahead of time, like I don't have shit to do. Like I'm just waiting on your call, which really I was waiting on her call because first priority gotta get this nail fixed first world problems but yeah i'm gonna get her to um put some gel over all my nails so they can be nice and shiny and look like they just got done even though some of them do look like i need to feel but some of them don't so we gonna work with it. i love these glasses so much and then i changed purses real quick too because i was still carrying a black bag so i wanted to change it up oh my god i got this phone case since I pulled out this bag, which is my, I have a um, to my bag video with this bag, but I can't even think of what's the name of the bag because I haven't really worn it in quite a while. But anyways, it's my Louis Vuitton bag, the one that looks like, oh, it's called an Artsy. The one that looks like this. So I pulled that one out because I haven't worn it in a long time and I just kind of felt like being a little extra. And I feel like green and brown is really pretty together, so. I pulled out that bag and in the midst, oh, I'm about to get hit y'all. But in the midst of doing that, I was like, oh, let me change my phone case real quick because I got this case and it goes with my purse. Oh my God, you guys know I love Louis Vuitton. So had to get this case, but I was definitely not paying for the real one. So um, this one is a dupe. Uh, I got this one from I Offer. The front of it is like that, like it has little studs around it. And it is more of a jelly type of case, but then this part actually kind of feels like how the bags feel, like that material. Um, but this is a way cheaper option because I believe the real ones are like a thousand to like five thousand dollars. But honey, ain't nobody got time for that. It's a phone case. Like I will never pay that much. Oh, no wonder why she asked me did I get her message because I didn't press send. I just went and it says okay. I just deleted it though, but. I need to snap because I haven't snapped today. And I guess after I go and get this nail fixed because hopefully it's a success. But I know lately with this nail being broke and other nails being broke, I have been bitching in the chair like 
totally a drama queen whenever she's trying to get it off sorry i didn't put the camera on the stand but i was rushing so i try to do that whenever i get back in the car and we're going other places um but maybe not because i want to kind of bring you guys with me in the store so sorry i know you guys like it better if the camera is like this let's see maybe i can drive <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can drive and hold the camera like this, which is really weird and my arm is going to start hurting. But I'm going to try to um, Snapchat a little bit and then I will get back with you dolls after I get my nail fixed. Okay, dolls. So I just finished getting my nail fixed. So I'm back on. No band-aid. And I got some gel on all of my nails so they can be shiny. This color is really light. Um, but up close, you can definitely see that it's a light pinky, purpley type of color. Um, yeah, it goes great with my glasses. But I feel like, oh my God, let's just have a talk real quick. So I hate it when I'm out. Like, I'm used to it, but it's still very annoying because people always stare at me. And it's not even like, oh, that might be that girl from YouTube, whatever. It's just like, even before I was ever doing YouTube, people always would just stare. But now, sometimes I know people will look because I look familiar and some people won't say anything, which is annoying as fuck because I would rather you just be like, are you Princess Cooch or do you make YouTube videos or something? Like, I've had people to do that before. Like, they, wasn't, they weren't sure if it was me or not because sometimes I look regular as fuck. Like, I don't look how I look in my videos all the time. Like, sometimes I just like to go regular. Like, I don't want to wear makeup every day or whatever, but even not even like with the youtube stuff like cross out youtube completely people always are just staring and i know some people will be like oh because you look cute or whatever but like yo if you want to ask me a question or something like just say something like people just be staring that is so annoying like whatever i'm used to it but it's still annoying like girl you keep on looking at me I would be like, girl, I like your glasses or something. Like, I'm not just gonna keep staring at you. Or it's one thing to look and be like, well, she look cute or whatever, like you might be thinking in your head, but I would never just sit there and stare at somebody. Like, you, you literally just, just staring at me. And then when I look at you, you still just looking at me. Like, you don't have no shame in what you're doing. But whatever, people is looking at me crazy at the nail shop. And I'm thinking like, I'm, I'm kind of regular as fuck today because I just got on like a regular ass white bodysuit with some jeans and white tennis shoes and then I just put on a cute jacket and I got on some shades like I didn't even do a full beat on this face like I just feel like I'm kind of regular but it's still cute so I don't know but whatever anyways now I'm about to go to Sam's is this the street yeah I'm about to go to Sam's so I can go and get the um I need to get the, what am I going to Sam's for? I need to get the sodas. Hold on, dolls. Okay, dolls, I'm back. My bad, uh, somebody has seen me. So they called me and they was like, you you recording or something? And I'm like, yeah, I'm doing a vlog. What's up? But yeah, I'm to the store, but um, they really don't have any parks. And then I was waiting because somebody had their lights on, like they were backing out. And then they, oh, perfect. Back up call, cause I'm about to get this pork right here. But um, they sat there for a while, like they were about to leave, but then they ended up getting out of the car. So I don't know what the hell they were doing. They just were sitting in the car with the brake lights on, but I just pulled up to this spot and this man was walking to his car. So I'm gonna get his spot right now. Let me back up a little bit more to give him some room. Let's see. I'm gonna come back because I don't feel comfortable right now. So you know what I just realized? It is like almost five o'clock and I just realized I haven't ate shit today except for a few chips. And it wasn't even a full bag of chips. It was some chips that I had and it was a little bit left in the bag. So that's all I ate today and I drank some water. At Sam's, I don't know why I didn't come like last week or the week before, but every time I come at the last minute because it's the week of, I'm not totally last minute. Like to me, I'm kind of early, but this is kind of last minute because they didn't have any of the value pack, the value pack. They didn't have any of the 
a variety pack sodas like they come with all the different flavors and that's what I prefer to get so that way everybody can get what they want and um, you know it'll be different kinds and that's like what I like to buy for my house too because sometimes I don't want the same type of soda all the time or whatever so I would just get the variety pack and they only they only have Shasta and then they have one that's another variety pack but it has like root beer orange and uh, cherry Pepsi like the most random ass sodas I don't drink uh, root beer and I do drink cherry Pepsi but I don't usually buy that and I like orange but yeah now it looks like I'm gonna have to actually go to the grocery store I really need to get myself something to eat because I haven't ate anything today like I said but I did pick up something at Sam's after I seen that they didn't have the sodas I put my buggy down but I should have kept it because I did get this big ass bag of gummy bears which is quite heavy I was just thinking like maybe at the grocery store I might need to pick up another one but this is actually quite a lot of gummy bears so that should be good and then I also picked up this go ahead I also picked up this huge tub of now laters I can barely even pick it up with my fingers like that to show you but I seen that when I was in the candy section and I was like bitch I love me some now later so I picked it up and it has banana in it too I don't really F with the banana ones but my mom likes bananas so that'll be cool for whenever they come over because I always like to have my candy dishes stacked up and the last time I came to Sam's I got the individually wrapped sour punch straws and I love those oh I ate some of those earlier too so that's what I ate today but yeah I like to have my candy drawers on fleek at home right now I have the sour punch straws I have some like small skittles packs some um, blow pops and then I have what else do I have oh I have some um, fruit snacks so that's what I have I probably take my fruit snacks out of the bowl and put my now laters in one or I've add some now laters to the one that has the skittles in it or whatever so I'm a candy fiend but I don't I don't go crazy and just eat candy all day like it can be just sitting there and when people come over they will eat it and honestly I don't do guests like that because I don't fuck with too many people but I know that I'm gonna be having my mom and my uncle over my uncle will literally sit there and eat that whole fucking bucket like Uncle Warren is really a candy fiend but I'm trying to think what store do I want to go to I'm guessing I should just go to HEB um I don't know either H-E-B or Walmart. I don't really want to go to Walmart. I hate Walmart, but sometimes I prefer H-E-B because at least like at Walmart, I don't know, maybe it's just like when I went for the holidays to pick up soda, they didn't, they don't do like um, buy however many get it for whatever price, which is, you know, you need that because it's going to save you some money. So I'd rather get that three for 10 or four for 12 or whatever it is. But the last time when I went to Walmart to get the sodas it was like our regular price so i ended up spending more money but i was last minute so i really didn't have a choice but i thought this year if i went to sam's like today i would be able to get that variety pack because those are only like five dollars and you get quite a bit of sodas but shastas are cheaper but they taste fine to me but whatever they didn't have it so yeah god told me my glasses was cute at least at least guys can pay a compliment instead of just staring at you right what a mess these girls in this world lord i tell you girls are so envious i hate bitches but not my dogs i love my dogs but i hate bitches i really do which is why i don't really fuck with a lot of people you don't see me with a lot of friends or anything i really just have honestly i always say it like I only have one friend but of course I count some of my family members as friends because we fucks with each other like that but I really only have one friend well let me take that back I have a few friends but my circle is very small and bitch don't come for me because I will cut your ass off real quick and I love 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 to bury a bitch or a nigga real quick like you will be totally more than six feet under and you will never come back from the dead and if I do allow you to come back from the dead then you know our relationship meant more to me but once you cross me like if it's if it's too deep you can't come back like you just did like 
you can't even come back as a zombie bitch like you are just dead like it's nothing you can say to me so I don't know we need to have some discussions dogs maybe I might just go to Spix first and then get something to eat I don't really have an appetite my appetite has been quite messed up lately I haven't even really been eating as much as I usually eat and I know you dogs always ask me for like tips on my diet and fitness and stuff and honestly if y'all follow me on snapchat then you will know i post my food sometimes and i pretty much eat whatever the hell i want to eat so yeah um but lately i haven't been eating as much like sometimes i find that i won't eat all of my food like i normally do and i haven't been eating as many times a day as i was before which really kind of sucks because i feel like i'm losing weight and that's not what i want to do so i just feel like sometimes i'm stressed and i'm just not here for it so i'm really trying to think what do i want to eat like i wish that you dolls were like on the phone or something with me so you could be like girl go to such and such or such and such sound good like why you don't you want some whatever whatever like i need my dolls okay dolls so i'm back people feeling this hell today this lady just came and asked me what kind of hair it was and she was like she thought it was my real hair and I was like girl this is a wig she was like what like I must got that lace laid honey but to me I like lace like it's cool because I can switch up my wigs but I feel like if you're super close and you're like really looking you're gonna be like oh bitch you got on lace front or whatever like but if you don't know and you just like look at a glance i think it does look good but anyways i had dropped my card on the floor and the lady actually picked it up for me because i couldn't get it up off of the flat surface with my nails usually i grab something and push under it to lift it up but i don't know i was trying to pick it up and she was right there so she just picked it up for me but yeah she was nice i'm just about to go to wendy's because i don't i don't really eat wendy's often but they have probably the best chicken sandwiches, spicy chicken sandwiches. If you dogs know another place that has good sandwiches, let me know. But I really used to like the ones at Popeye's because they used to put this sauce on it and the sauce made it taste even better. But whenever I get them from like regular places like Wendy's, I just get, um, it comes with mayonnaise on it and I just add ketchup. But they will probably taste good it will probably be so good. Does Chick-fil-A have a spicy chicken sandwich? Because it will probably be so good at Chick-fil-A with the uh, Chick-fil-A sauce on it. Oh my God. Chick-fil-A has not been the same for me lately. And me and one of my other friends said this the other day because he was addicted just like how I was addicted. Like I literally called Chick-fil-A crack filet because I felt like their food had crack in it because it was so damn good. And he was like, man, I don't even be wanting Chick-fil-A no more. Like, it's like they changed something. And I said, I know, bro. They stopped putting crack in their food because I don't even be wanting them no more neither. And he was like, for real. It's crazy. But anyways, I'll show you guys. This is the bottle that I got. The alcohol is red. I was kind of debating, like, should I just get regular vodka because the gummy bears have a taste of their own? But I don't know because... I don't know if the gummy bears are gonna hold their original flavor or what because I've never did this before. But I was like, let me get something that tastes probably better than just like straight up vodka. So I got the fruit punch one. They did have one that was a pink lemonade, but that lemony pink lemonade might clash with some of the flavors if the gummy bears do hold their flavor. I'm, just, I'm gonna get my chicken sandwich because that's what I really want in a lemonade. And then it's getting dark already it's it's only literally like five but after i go after i get my sandwich i will go to the party store to get my stuff because the party store is before the grocery store come on car go up like bro i can't even order they not at the wind they not at the window they not at the ordering uh thing they just like sitting there thank you you've been in the way the whole time i could have been ordered uh just yes can i have a number six <laughs> a number six medium alarm. medium with a strawberry lemonade that's all i hate people like that like girl repeat me my damn order but i ain't gonna be a bitch today 
And I don't like tomatoes, but sometimes I just let them leave it because sometimes they end up fucking up and then I won't have no lettuce on there or nothing. So I just toss the tomato. But I'm so happy I got this nail fixed because Lord, it feels so much better whenever it's something on there. And now this time I do feel like it'll be fine in my fake, my fake nail. I do feel like this time it'll be fine and the nail can grow out because she did still keep some of that fake nail, but she put the real, I, this is so hard to explain, but she put the fake nail more so on my nail that is actually growing out. But there was a piece that was like flappy and not attached anymore. And she had attached the nail mostly to that the last time. So that's why I feel like it just lifted off. But yeah. Why do you have to go to a fast food place and ask for ketchup? I, I would never understand that. I'm about to stop right here real quick so I can put my sandwich together the way I want to. But I will never understand that. Why do I have to ask for ketchup? Like most restaurants, or at least back in the day, they used to just put ketchup in your bag because most people want ketchup. And if you don't, then you just throw it away. But for some reason, for some reason these days, people, I guess they don't think you want ketchup. That shit is annoying because I would normally expect ketchup to just be in the bag. So then if you pull off and you're eating your shit on the go and you want ketchup, bitch, you just out of there. Or you gonna have to take your ass back to the restaurant. Like, their fries are so boring. Let me tell y'all, that sandwich was so dry. And I don't. I don't know. I feel like they used to be way better than that, but it got the job done. I feel like I could have ate just about anything right about now, and I would have said I was good. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Let me make y'all laugh. I just pulled up over here to go to the party store, right? It's even crazier now that I'm really thinking about it because I really, really, really just fucked up. Okay, I just pulled up over here to go to the party store. Meanwhile, I forgot that they moved it. And literally, the parking lot where I was sitting at, which is like by Wendy's, that is where the freaking party store is at now. But I did not think about that at all. And I came over here to where it used to be. <laughs> How crazy is that? I pulled up and I'm like, what the hell is the party store? And then I thought like, oh shit, I forgot they moved it. And then whenever I really started thinking about it, I was like, yo, I was right there at it. And I drove over here. But it's not that far. It's just like right back up the street. So I'm just going to go back because I want to get everything done today. Excuse me. I want to get everything done today because I don't have time to be trying to do stuff tomorrow or Wednesday I just want to get everything done so I can know that I have all of my stuff hey, it's Monday and people are at the grocery store like I mean I guess they probably feel the same way like I feel like they getting done early but really I guess we kind of last minute because the grocery store looks super packed and the cars are all the way to the front street like, you know, the whole parking lot is pretty much full, so I'm really not here for this. I really should have came to the store. I really should have came to the store this morning, like while people were at work and stuff, but I don't know. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but I mean, I had stuff to do, so I just kind of worked around, worked around going to the store into this, but you know what I'm trying to say. I just effed it up, but basically, um really i didn't plan on having to come to the grocery store i really thought that i was going to be able to go to sam's and get damn they're gonna get that spot i really thought that i was going to be able to go to sam's and get what i needed and kind of i really wish that i would have just got what the hell they had and we just would have had to drink whatever it was because i do not feel like going in this store battling with these people for one, what I'm coming to get is simple. Like, I don't plan on coming in here, like, making groceries. But, um, 
I mean, I may pick up a few things because I do need like some milk for my cereal and stuff like that, but nothing major. Um, maybe some more chips, sandwich stuff, but I have plenty of other things like stuff to cook, all of that, but I don't know. I'm not ready to go in here. And I, I can already bet you, I can probably bet my life on it. I don't even want to say that, but I could probably bet my life on it that the sodas are going to be low stock. Like they're not going to really have much. And if they don't have much in this store, I'm not going to another store tonight because I'm kind of burnt out on going to stores. But I'm just going to go in here anyway and see. I'm kind of thinking after I'm here already, I'm kind of thinking like maybe I should wait and come back tomorrow in the morning because they'll have new stuff out. I'm really thinking. I'm at the store already and I'm really debating on driving off because it's so packed. But I know in the morning a lot of people will be at work. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a mess, but I'm about to leave because it's, it's just way too many people. I already know it's going to be super packed and I'm not feeling it. Okay, dolls, so I'm talking to the camera, Sachi. Go lay back down. I'm not going nowhere. This gummy bear thing. Um, I just looked at a few more videos and I seen this one guy and he was saying don't get the hair bow ones because it always sounds like I'm saying hair bow like for your hairs but for your hairs for your hair but the hair bow ones which is this brand he said don't get these because they don't suck up the alcohol but then I searched to see if some people use these and they did and it worked but he was saying you gotta wait like five days for it to soak it up and i seen a girl and she did it and she only let it sit for two days so today is monday night and then monday night tuesday night wednesday night and then thanksgiving so that should be enough time i'm just gonna go ahead and make them now it's a good thing that i watched a few videos to see so Today on Coach's Kitchen, we're going to be making drunk gummy bears, drunken gummies. I love gummy bears. So, I'm trying to think what do I want to put it in while I make it. I think I'm going to get a big bowl with a lid on it because it's better if you kind of shake them a little bit. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, with my makeshift tripod and this horrible ass lighting, as I eat these gummy bears, I'm going to just pour them in. Laundry, my nail was broke. So. Yeah, I think this bag should be. Some of them are kind of stuck together. I'm gonna take my vodka and pour this into it. I know that this is really strong. Me and my friend kind of smells like medicine. Let me taste this. I hate hot alcohol, so I'm gonna drop an ice cube so I can cool it off a little. But it smells like medicine, like literally like medicine. So I definitely need to add something because I do not want these to taste nasty. Oh, honey, that is strong. It doesn't taste that bad, but definitely gonna need some sweetener, but I wanna start soaking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this in. Probably would taste better with a, you know, better alcohol. I do have a big ass bottle of uh, pineapple Ciroc, which is my favorite, but I wasn't wasting my good alcohol on some drunken gummy bears. I think I can make this work with just some sweetener. And I guess it's a good thing that I got the big one because I almost didn't. And they say you want to level it off or actually put the alcohol a little bit over. This is so fun. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to get a spoon and just kind of make sure that they're all in there good. Yeah, these gummy bears are going to be drunk. Soon, I'm sure you guys will get to see the finished product uh, on Thanksgiving for sure. But like I said, tomorrow I will just add in my sweetener mix. 
to make them taste better. And that is it. I'm going to put these in the fridge. So there we have it, drunk gummy bears. And we have this little bit left. So if somebody want to, you know, have a drink, then they can. This alcohol is a 30%. 30% alcohol, 60 proof, which I believe that's pretty high. I think Taco Vodka is a pretty high percentage. So those gummy bears are definitely going to be drunk, but I'm definitely going to get something to sweeten them up. But I think it's a good thing that I went ahead and did that because it'll start soaking up the alcohol. And then I will probably need to use something that is more liquidy, just depending on how much it's soaked up, because I'm going to do it tomorrow. So I don't think they're going to be soaked up very much anyway, but... Yeah, I used all of the gummy bears. I think I had some gummy bears. Oh, I might have ate them. Oh, no. I didn't. Oh, wait. I dropped this. I was like, I know I had some gummy bears at home for personal use, and I do. This is the candy house. Like, I have so much candy and popcorn and junk food. And y'all always asking me about a diet. Honey, ain't no diet. This girl eats whatever the hell she want to eat. I'm tired, kind of. It's like 11.30. I was thinking about going to film videos for my channel, but I'm not feeling it. And I decided not to put it in this bowl because, you know, it's. I just feel like I won't be able to shake them up and stuff. So I'll save that for the actual display for the day of. But, yeah. Mm. Let me show you dolls. So my mom had got me some really cute little stuff. She picked these ornaments up the other day to add to my tree. They're like Paris themed with glitter and silver. It was a mess right now, but I wanted to show you I got these little things too. Um, and they kind of go with my pictures that I have, like that one. It matches really good. My mom got these from, um, where did she get these from? Ross. She got these from Ross. So I got that one. And then I have this one. And then I have another one that says, Hello Gorgeous. And I have that one over here on my desk. So I thought those were cute. She just pick, she always picks up like random stuff for me. But yeah, I wanted to show y'all that because um, I showed y'all my pictures and stuff before. So yeah, I'm probably about to get ready for bed in a minute but kind of still chilling watching tv i need to i need to go get my charger for my laptop because i need to pick out some stuff for a company um and my laptop is dead and i was sitting on the couch but yeah just really chilling i did smoke my hookah oh i am gonna do the how to make my hookah. I'm thinking now that I'm going to do it for my blog channel instead of my main channel. Um, and anyone who wants to watch it, they can just come over here and watch it. Because, I mean, I don't care about... Well, let me take that back. I do care about promoting it in a way. But, you know, it's something that I like to do. And I know a lot of my dolls are into it too. So, yeah, I just kind of feel like it may be a little bit more appropriate for my vlog channel so i'll try to do that um maybe sometime this week i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog off for tonight so good night dolls